Hey everyone, uh, ISCA President Tom Faraci here. I thought I'd show you the uh, the Discord server that we've set up, tell you a little bit about what Discord is uh, and how we plan to use it for uh, ISCACon 29 Mailbox Mayhem. Um, first of all, thank you to everyone who have registered already. Um, our boxes are going out in the next day or two. Um, that's going to be uh, really cool. We got a lot of fun surprises in there. Um, if you all haven't registered yet, you can still register by going to mailboxmayhem.com. Uh, you can register for the event, but unfortunately there will be no more boxes available um, after this point. But uh, you can still register and join us uh, to participate in the, uh, the online aspect of the event, which is going to be a, a totally cool, um, unique, hopefully one-time only thing that we have to do. But uh, we got this set up in a way that... Um, uh, we think we'll we'll try to replicate the feel of the uh, the in-person con uh, as much as possible. Um, so uh, I know some of you coming in uh, have been to the con before. Some of you have not. Uh, I'm gonna try and explain things as clearly as possible um, to sort of uh, uh, you know make it uh, make it accessible for for everyone. Um, so. I want to talk about uh, Discord. So what uh, Discord is? Uh, it's a it's a um, it's an app that allows us to create our own server, um, self-contained, invite only. Um, so no no one can come in if they don't register, if they don't have an invitation uh, or, or a link. Um, so we can we can kind of keep it uh, to uh, participants only. Um, and it's our own totally customizable thing. So that's what we've been working on is trying to get this uh, set up in a way that uh, it works for us and it works for ISCA. Um, so once you sign on here, you're gonna get you're gonna get a link. First of all, you're gonna get a link mailed to you if you've registered, and it's gonna be a one-time use link. Um, treat it as like a like a ticket to any event. You know, you click the link; it's your one-time uh, shot at, at getting in here. Um, and that's to prevent uh, um, passing around of one mass link that that uh, everyone can uh, anyone can access. Um, so it's a security purpose uh, um, for having those links uh, sent out that way. Um, so once you're in here, you're going to get a welcome screen. Uh, it'll recommend some places in, within the Discord server you can check out. But we're going to have this menu uh, to the, uh, the left of us here, to the left of the screen. Um, you're going to see uh, topics here, the information channel, uh, the virtual ballroom, the ISCA seminar room, uh, tables, submissions, walls, merch booths. Uh, Y'all shouldn't see boardroom because that's for board members only, but uh, it's here now. So uh, we're still working on this. We're still putting it all together, still figuring out the configurations and all that. But the general idea is the information channel is where you're going to see the rules and the schedule. Uh, the virtual ballroom is going to be the, the general hangout, um, sort of like the mass like Zoom call sort of setup where you, you'll have uh, multiple um participants all on video calls at the same time uh, in one space. That's where we are right now. It's just me right now, but there will be, you know, um, as many people in here will be shown up on the screen. Um, so I want to tell you too that uh, Discord has two types of channels under each category. There are text channels, and those usually begin with a hashtag. And then there are uh, what they call voice channels, but they're actually video channels. Um, and that's what uh, uh, you know. Anything set up like a Zoom room would be. Um, so let's run you through it. If you go to information, that's going to be a text channel. Uh, if you click on a text channel, um, it will open the text chat. Um, now this is a locked channel, so it's just going to be the rules um, pinned in place, and, and uh, no one can add comments or uh, converse here. But you'll be able to see all the rules for the con here. Once you go to a text chat, and if you're in a video chat room, uh, you will see the video chat move to the top right corner here. Um, once you're back in, you click on the, you know, say, the virtual ballroom, uh, that is, you, you go back to the video channel in full screen. Um, we do have a few different rooms here, and, and we'll go through what those could be. So the competition hall is where we're going to hold stuff like the likeness competition. Um, the rules of which will be posted on mailboxmayhem.com if they're not up there already. Um, we'll run you through that, though. It's going to be something that we're doing a little differently this day, this year just because of the format. Um, there's another category for the ISCA seminar room, and this is where speakers will participate. So let me click on this. Now, when you enter a new video chat room, uh, your video is going to be off by default. So you're going to want to go down here and turn on your camera. 
And this might be different. Now, Discord has a desktop app, which I am using. Uh, Discord's available for uh, iPhones and Androids. Uh, it's also available uh, in, in a, uh, for iPads and tablets and uh, through a web browser. So you don't need to download an app if you have a, a browser that, that can support it. Um, so everything here is going to be a little different. But once you're in, in uh, this room, um, th these two, um, uh, the, the text and uh, video channels are, are connected to each other. Basically, you would uh, go in here to ask questions for the speaker Q&A. And then uh, the speaker will be doing their presentation in the video room. And you can see if you bounce between them, you can still see the video. And if the speaker's highlighted, they should be up here. Um, but that's mostly for uh, the speakers to um, access and a moderator to ask them questions, uh, which will be a member-only perk. Uh, being that this is open to the public this year, we wanted to give something to um, members to uh, give, give that membership uh, some value in this con. Um, the, the tab below it is tables. Uh, these are all going to be video channels that have a, uh, a limit of, right now it's set to 10 people per table, but we might make some adjustments to that uh, in, the, in the coming days. We don't know yet. Um, but these are basically smaller group chats. So if you want to get together with a small group of friends and you guys want to have a side uh, conversation or you guys want to collaborate together or, or um, focus on uh, you know your work in a, in a smaller uh, work environment, you can do that. You don't have to be in the virtual ballroom where everyone is going to be mingling and chatting. So you can have a little bit more focused uh, conversation here. Also, you don't have to be in any room. You can be logged into the server with your, your cameras off, your mics off. Um, you can just be idle and, and you know, watch the room, uh, watch the seminars, you know, you don't always have to be on screen and, and vocal at all times. But if that's what you want to do, because this is a social event, um, we're, we're providing um, several options how to do that. Um, under contest submissions, this is where you're going to have your channels um, for studio piece. And uh, these other ones down here, we'll talk a little bit more about uh, uh, later once we kind of get them all uh, uh, hashed out fully, but uh, looking at the studio piece competition, what you're going to do is you're going to go uh, in, into here. Um, you will type in, I've already typed this in here, but uh, uh, my number is, well actually I'll, I'll delete that because what I want to do first, I want to, to add an image. So studio piece competitions, you can upload uh, one image up to 50 megabytes. Um, let me see if I can find a uh, photo of something I've done recently. Do, do, do. We'll use, well, I didn't do this, so let's see, but I'll use this photo of our, our speaker, uh, Asia Ellington, that she, uh, she drew for us for um, promotional purposes. We'll upload that. We'll say I did it. I'm completely lying, but we'll say we did And you're going to put your member number down, your competition number. Uh, mine's 104 this year. And then you'll hit upload. All right, so the image uploads with your number. That's your studio piece submission. Easy as that. Um, for those who are unaware, the, the um, studio piece competition and all um, competitions are going to be open to members only as well. Um, so if you're a member, you'll have a number to uh, submit a piece under. Um, but we'll go ahead and delete that because uh, we don't want to muddy the waters with the artwork that I didn't create. We'll try and keep this uh, uh, clear for actual uploads. Uh, okay. And so that's how you're going to upload uh, uh, contest submissions. Uh, the next thing people were asking about was, is there going to be, uh, um, are there going to be wall spaces this year? And the answer is yes. Um, much like the con in person in previous years, um, we would put up, uh, we would tape off around a, a two foot section of wall um, for each participating uh, competitor to hang up their artwork um, to submit for voting. Uh, this year, we're just doing them as text channels. So again, I would go to my wall. Uh, when I say it's my wall, I, I literally mean that I'm the only one who will have access to wall 104 to uh, upload and submit images. Um, everyone can view them, but only the person assigned their number can access and publish work to their wall. So that's designed so that you can post as much artwork as you want that you create throughout the week to the wall. Um, and then people can view it for voting purposes or just, you know, just casual browsing. Um, and it's the same thing as before. You click the, uh, the add icon here, you upload an image, you caption it. Um, you're going to caption it with your number, uh, your competition number and the piece number. And that, that'll help for voting um, later on as well. 
Um, but that's all laid out in the rules too. So once you look over those, those will give you details and we'll give you a, a breakdown of that too. Um, so that's how walls are gonna work. Um, last, we have merch booths. Um, we have a couple sponsors this year who um, uh, may want to sell some items. If you would like a merch booth, uh, it's 50 bucks. You can buy a merch booth space on mailboxmayhem.com and then uh, just come back to us or, or let us know and we will uh, create a page similar to the walls where you can post whatever content you want, uh, sell whatever you'd like within reason, of course, um, to your own merch booth that people can then access. So for uh, ISCA, we have um, our print uh, that Damon put together. Um, this uh, this is, goes to our Gumroad page where you can purchase a print of uh, Damon's EF cover. Um, or you can, we also posted the link to the free uh, exaggerated P features um, PDF that you can download and share around if you'd like. So that's kind of how the merch booths are going to look and they can be set up and, and published however you like. Um, so that's, uh, that's just, a, again, just a quick rundown of how to anticipate this to work. Um, if you have any questions about uh, Discord or um, uh, ISCACON or how any of this is going to work, or about registration, get in touch with uh, uh, myself, um, CC, any of the board members. Uh, we're happy to help. Um, you can find us uh, under the contact section at caricature.org. You can email me, Tom Faraci at caricature.org. Um, you can find us on Facebook or Instagram at ISCA Caricatures and send us a message there. We're, uh, we're really not hard to reach. So um, if there's any concerns you have in the next couple weeks before the event starts or during the event, uh, we're going to be available and we're going to be available um, throughout the week on the Discord as well. Um, I think that's all. I just wanted to give you all just this, uh, you know, this rundown of uh, what to expect um, for those of you who haven't used it before. So uh, that's all. I uh, hope you all are uh, doing well out there. Take care.